Hi, I'm Emma Yan, and today we're on a mission to find Sedum Spectable, whose common name is Showy Stonecrop. Well, I could have looked in this forest all day and never found any Showy Stonecrop. The conditions are here are just not right. Sedum Spectable really likes full sun, well-drained rocky soils, and these soils are just too fertile. The sedum would flop over. I guess we'll go find a rock garden. Maybe we'll find some sedum there. Well, while we're on the way to our rock garden, I'll tell you a little bit more about sedum spectacle. It's native to China and Korea and is used as a very drought tolerant ground cover. It doesn't have any significant pest problems, so it's really easy to grow. Let's go find it. Huh. Oh, looks like you beat me to it. Here's our sedum spectable. Let's take a closer look. Well, now that we're up close and personal with our sedum spectable, I'll tell you a little bit about it. The season of bloom for sedum spectable is late summer to fall, and its habit is 18 inches to 24 inches tall and kind of rounded. The flowers are small, half-inch sized, arranged in dense, terminal chymes, three inches to six inches across, and flowers can be red, pink, or white. The leaves and stems of sedum spectable have a little bit of a grayish-green tinge to them, and that is why one of the names for sedum spectable is also called ice plant. The leaves are fleshy, opposite, alternate, or world, depending on the plant, obovate, glabrous, and succulent, and they're about three inches long. You can propagate sedum spectable by division or stem cuttings. Because of sedum's drought tolerance and love of the sun, they're really well adapted for growing on green roofs. I'm taking care of the green roofs on campus this semester, so let's go take a look at the MU one and see how it's doing. Here we are at the MU Green Roof. There's no sedum spectable on this one, but there is the orange stone crop that's on our ground covers list. Most sedum like the same conditions, dry, sunny. This green roof isn't really doing too well because it's on the shady north side of a building and it's been very wet for the entire year, so it hasn't really worked out too well, but Usually sedum is a really good choice for green roofs because they are just bombarded with sun and get very dry. So, just remember, sedum spectable loves sunny dry conditions, not very many pest problems, and is a very easy plant to care for and will add a nice pop of color to your garden.